Well, all new at 5.30, when you make a call on your cell phone, do you worry about someone listening in? News Force Joe Melillo is here with a story that could have you thinking twice before you make that next call. Joe? Yeah, Jackie, I spoke with the representative of a company that manufactures ultra-secure cell phones. He says his company discovered fake cell phone towers across the country. It's something we all need to pay attention to. It makes me feel uneasy, and I probably would be much more careful of what I'm saying on my phone. It's really an invasion of privacy. Digital privacy is on everyone's mind. It, it would be like walking in my home without your, with the, without my permission, and starting to poke around my, my information. It's it's that level of. It's, you know, these are very personal devices. These are like our homes. ESD America manufactures ultra-secure cell phones that alert the user if they're connected to a fake cell phone tower. Recently, ESD America's users reported 17 of these towers throughout the United States in August. Those interceptors are capable of picking up conversations on the phone or text messages, and that doesn't sit well with people. It's, it's another form of, like, terrorism. Just have to keep on top of it, but I'm not sure it could be prevented. These cell phone signal interceptors aren't hundred foot structures like this tower you might think of. They're small, the size of a briefcase, and they're mobile. So you can you can be in an area where you can intercept calls, uh, and then an hour later be in another area where you're intercepting different sets of calls, and those particular uh, devices, you know, work with impunity. Here's the good news. The people using these cell phone interceptors don't want information about your kids or your trip to the vet. Uh, intelligent agencies use them in search for bad people. Bad people use them in search of information uh, for either political and or economic advantages and gains. But it still makes people nervous that someone can hack into their phone's signal. I think we're going to forever continue to battle this privacy versus privacy rights versus the you know rights of organizations to tap into our our precious <laughs> data and demographics and information that they can use for their agendas. All right, here's what you need to pay attention to. Fake towers give themselves away by slowing down the performance of your phone from 4G to 2G. That's when you know your information is at risk. Now, coming up at 6, find out who's behind these fake cell phone towers. Joe Malillo, News 4 at 530.